one of my favorite parts of Lola. Some people never love at all. Anyway, as promised, the uh, secret origin of Missy, which occurs very, very late in, uh, in the movie Lola. It takes place pretty much at the uh, one-hour mark of the film's 87-minute running time. And it's definitely a very weird experience to be watching a movie and figuring, okay, I, I've seen what I, what I came here to see, and then go, oh my gosh, it's Missy. That's where Missy came from. It stuck, I think, because it was such an authentic moment. And that it was an authentic moment for Norman Vane writing about his experience of being married to a 16-year-old schoolgirl. Whatever um, Sarah Caldwell's doll was named, it probably wasn't Wilhelmina. But uh, definitely, I think this was an authentic moment and I picked up on that even at a remove. It was so authentic a moment that, uh, much to my surprise, Norman Vane wasn't done with Wilhelmina yet. I have a really long for you. Your absence was a real baby. A baby? Yes. Well, suppose we had a baby and we were both working. Who would take care of it? The cat? <laughs> no. Can't lean too heavily on Mouse. He's got enough problems of his own. Sure he has. Come on. Hey, Scott. Listen, if I did have a baby, I'd get rid of all my dogs. Even Will Ah, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Another authentic moment that I don't think you can fake. Vane, I think, knew he was on to something. And he wasn't done with Wilhelmina yet. Even as a teenager and a virgin, I remember thinking, oh, you don't want to do that. That part was a genetic memory. That stuck with me because of the schizoid moment of, well, on the one hand, it's an inanimate object. It's a pile of yarn and fabric and stitched together with eyes painted on. But... It's Wilhelmina. And sure enough. Where's Wilhelmina? Look under there. I kneel on the set the other day while I'm at school under your care and protection. 
Because Mum's is jealous of her and he scratches her face and falls her head, don't you, Mum? That's ridiculous. A cat jealous of Maybe it's because it has starry eyes. It's very childish of you. She's just a dog. I know that, Lola. When were you? I just said it, didn't I? It's significant, I think, that uh, Susan George is sitting in front of a poster of the Beatles while she's delivering her lines in this scene. And I'll explain why I think that's significant next week on The Many Origins of Jocka. <laughs>